Yes, a framework is being developed to deal with issues of merit-based recruitment and appointments, integrity testing for all recruits, and curriculum development. But it is us seated here who must now give meaning and flesh to all these matters that are being dealt with. Another part of our drive to build a capable developmental state is the district development model, which we have not really fully dealt with at the level of our conferences. This conference gives us the opportunity to look more closely at this model, which, by the way, has been in implementation over a number of years. There are a number of provinces that have been implementing this model in a number of iterations. For instance, KZN has been implementing this through the Sugumasaki process and a number of other provinces have been doing so. Now we need to integrate that whole process as delegates to this conference and see whether this district development model from a policy point of view can actually lead to the strengthening of the state as we envisage. This model aims to eliminate wastage, to eliminate duplication of resources, and requires leaders and public servants at all levels who will work as a single unit within districts, and that we should all move towards a single plan at national level provincial level, district level, and municipal level. 